Hello there, good evening and welcome to the Little Farmer's Farm at New Friends and Old. We got a shout out last week from uh, our old friend Tony O'Neill at Simplify Gardening and since then we've picked up about a couple, over, over 200 new subscribers. And if you're one of them, welcome. Hope you enjoy the show. I haven't been, well I haven't posted anything for over a week because of work commitments but that's going to change, it's going to be every other night. We're back to the old days boys and girls, you long time viewers. Um, look at this. They won't even get a shot that. It's like a club. It's one of the cucumbers that we've picked from the allotment plot, a beauty. I don't know how big that is. I bet that's about 14 or 15 inches at least anyway. So uh, you'll see that tonight, but also we're gonna be doing a heck of a lot of weeding, tidying up and clearing out because a clean plot is a is like a clean mind. And I haven't had a clean mind for a bit. So uh, it's time that changed. Check it out. My brother's up at the plots now, Guru Mafinda. So uh, yeah, we'll see what he's up to. All right, I've got a little assistant in the first clip. My little assistant is the mini digger Bradley, and he's doing a bit of weeding. So uh, he helps out. But there's a lot of work being done. All right, catch you in a bit. Got an assistant, haven't we, there, lad? What are you doing with them naughty weeds? Pull the reds off. Yeah, chuck them all in there. I'll give you a lift. Okay, now before we uh, get stuck into the weeding, um, I'm going to go and have a look at the Lady Farmer's Polytunnel with uh, with number one son, with James, the little farmer, and uh, we're going to check out the uh, tomatoes, I think, and look at the chili peppers, the basket of fire chili peppers. Just just have a general check, see how they're getting on. Um, enjoy. It's extremely hot guys today has been for quite some time actually it's been um, it's been really high temperatures late 20s early 30s Celsius that is um, for, for quite some time these last few days have been into the 30s today's 32 degrees outside inside these polytunnels it's into the 40s in fact we'll take a look in a second but i'm just checking on my tomatoes and cucumbers just to see how they're getting along and they're doing fine okay these are tasty king and they are tasty the kids love look, look at the size of that one wow that's a big one um they're all getting to be some considerable size that you'll have to be careful actually taking this one out yeah, that's going to pull everything down. I'm going to have to tie them up a little bit. Bear with us a second, I'll see what we've got. Plenty of other cukes coming on as well. On the other plants, that small guy, just starting to show now, but this one's getting established. I'm getting some more cucumbers on. The most prolific, prolific one has been the end one. We've taken two already off this one. We've taken now nine cucumbers off the end one. One from the second one we've got the tomatoes the, these were the um the suckers from the main plants that we started off first of all initially and the main plants actually got um leaf curl on them but the suckers the second batch which are these no leaf curl at all yeah and these are uh, money maker got a, a good uh, a good heavily laden uh, plant there. In fact, there's two plants. These ones are the Super Sweet 100. And they are, again, bountiful with the vines. Stemmed them off when they got to this, uh, to this height, six feet. But they, they'll always try and continue to grow. You can see that got, the suckers are still are still pushing the way out so we just take those out side shoots suckers we call them that come off from the main plant 
and I might well pinch out the growing tip but I've got some uh, blossom on there don't know whether it'll come to anything because it's touching the plastic sheeting above but I might just leave that and just pinch that uh, that leader out there I will do actually take that leader out and any suckers that we find and then what should happen then is the energy all the energy from the roots and from the photosynthesis of the leaves will now go in hopefully to the fruit yeah I've thinned them out the branches a little bit just so that they don't overcrowd each other with the leaf but don't go too mad with it Joe always says oh you don't eat the leaf yeah but the leaf feeds the plant doesn't it through photosynthesis so you don't want to take too much off because again you'll stress the plants out you'll get to, you'll get issues with it leaf curl and the like but it's not looking too well there's a few little bits of leaf damage but it's nothing too severe we're not getting blight on them the lettuces have bolted <laughs> they're going to have to come out that is as long as my forearm it's massive it's a beast that's a bit smaller we got that one and then we've got this really wonky curly one that wouldn't pass the eu muster that one but uh it's still edible a good little cucumber that one but yeah we've got uh we've got quite the selection there quite the selection look at that i mean that must be a, a good foot long and that's about 15 inches long. 15 inches long that one quite Trying to get it all in shot. It's a whopper. Good stuff. I know two little boys who will definitely devour that. There's some nice tomatoes down there, James. Yeah. Super sweet 100. Let's uh, let's put them to the test. Eh? Yeah. See what they're like. I haven't tried these yet. They look really nice. Are they juicy? Hot today, mate, isn't it? Yeah, they're ripening up, aren't they? From the they yeah. tend to ripen up from the ends at the bottom first, and then on up the plant. These are getting nice, aren't they now? Yeah. So I might do some little bit of pruning on these and take away some of the leaf so the sun can get to the tomatoes. Not too much, just a little bit, so the sun the sun can ripen them up. Yeah. But they're looking good, aren't they? Let's have a taste of one. I'm gonna have a, I'll have a little one. I'll have a baby one. Starting to split. Oh, they're sweet, aren't they? Yeah. Mmm. -mm. These ones are money maker on this side. And again, we've got to, we've got an abundance of them. But the super sweet one under are really nice. And we've got the uh, the sun gold as well, haven't we? Yeah. Chili peppers are coming on. These are all chili peppers. These ones. Hot chili peppers. And I'll need to get some water into the water tray underneath as well, because we're going to be getting dried out. Well, they're not too bad at the moment. I will fill it before I leave. Not too bad. Right. Let's get some work done. Let's get some weeding done. It's well overdue. That's a 12th barrel. Barrel? Barrow. Full of weeds. I've just cleared this area. Uh, between the Black Shed of Death and the greenhouse. Lady Farmer's greenhouse. All the um, area in front of that that leads up to where the central path is has been done. I've been down there. Uh, all the weeds were up to about here, but they were they were above the the gutter. And uh, again, a good strong mixed bag of weeds. We've got horse's tail. We've got um, bindweed, lots of stinging nettles. All we had, I've cleared the majority of it away. I'm going to continue to to sort of nitpick. But uh, I've got these three paths to do as well. Now. I'm going to be nipping to the shops uh, shortly to get some salt. Oh God, this needs to be done as well. So it's this, 
all the way down the back there and the paths on the top end as well a lot of weeding heck of a lot of weeding and I'm going to be nitpicking down the paths as well I reckon I've got about another four hours worth I don't think I'm going to get it done today but uh, we'll see how we get on okay so this next section is going to be weeded now we're going to clear all that crap out from there that trellis and the timbers that are there get it all down to the front so the dog can see the rabbit and then we'll get into them weeds and we'll get all of this pathway and this bed sorted out down to where the nettles are at the bottom there you've got some stinging nettles there at the bottom but as you can see we've got bindweed that's choking out all of our um courgette plants so there's only two courgette plants there but i'm going to clear all that out clear the bindweed out whatever else we've got in the way of weeds all that'll be shifted and that's your next step or my next step and once that's all cleared away then i'll work my way up and then along the paths up to pass where the polytunnel is and then hopefully then we'll not be too far away from uh, from clearance god it's a menace isn't it it's a pest Oh, it's getting there, guys. It's getting there, isn't it? Certainly a lot better than it was. They were up here. Now, I've got to continue on. Up that path. And then fiddling about there between the, uh, the potato plants that are in here. Now, these are the Maris Piper that have in there. We've got um, buckets on this side. Well, I've just been stung to death by them. All of, me, all of me beautiful legs. I don't shave my legs, you know. It's just natural. Naturally barren of her. So, <clears throat> I don't think they'll be getting between there. I might try and get inside and get these stickly plants out. <clears throat> I'm doing it again. I'm getting stung again. I'll clear this off, which will mean I'll have to get my gloves back on. See, I've cleared that path down there. After a fashion, this bindweed's a bindweed is a pain, total pain. That bindweed, don't like it. Not many things I don't like, but I don't like bindweed. It's disgusting. Stinging nettles are not my uh, my favourite plants either. Although you can make nice tea out of them, and we're contemplating actually making beer out of those. Beer, stinging nettle beer. That is on the agenda for this year. But uh, that's a story for another show, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, and I'll try and do my best with this. All this timber down there, and I'll sort that out. Try and get in between. Carry on up there. And so I've just got this path to do, and I've got this area in front of Tiki Tunnel 2 to do. And that'll be it. I might be able to get this done tonight. Swelteringly hot today. It's with 31 degrees Celsius today. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's a lot. It's hot. It's too hot for Wigan, is that? It's uh, beyond the pale, that. We're expecting actually 33 degrees Celsius tomorrow night, or tomorrow day. And then for Saturday, which is in two days from now, thunderstorms. It's probably going to be like it is in Germany. In Germany at the moment, they're having massive problems with flooding so all you guys over there in the in central europe i feel for you take care of yourselves and each other um right crack on with the weeding okay now as you know we don't like to use any harsh chemicals chemical herbicides down here on the little farmer's farm, but uh, desperate times call for desperate measures, so I'm ringing out the big guns. We're going to be using chemicals. Sodium chloride, also commonly known as table salt, is going to be used on the pathways. If it was good enough for the Russians, it's good enough for us. And uh, what that is, he's salting the earth. You're going to salt the earth. Only on the pathways, only when you're not growing anything would you apply this because uh, salt will destroy it's a it's a natural weed killer. Well it's not natural, I suppose salt is natural. Everything's natural if it comes from planet Earth. I can I could never get my head around that concept. But 
it's uh, it's going to be a, a twofold benefit of this. One, slugs don't like salt. So any slugs that are hiding, knocking about in the undergrowth, they're going to uh, they're going to suffer. And the weeds don't. In fact, any not many plants like salt, unless they're uh, they're sort of an ocean side plant. And even then, they don't like pure salt being poured on their heads. But that's what's going to happen. I'm going to salt all the paths. Now, this stuff costs 20 pence. 20 pence for a packet. So what I've got from Lidl is a ton of it. I've got two trays. That's one tray. I've got two trays. And it was less than 10 quid for all that. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to douse the paths. And hopefully that will suppress the weeds. Let's crack on. It does work. Honest. I'm a guru. Okay. Shanty cell. Try and open it so you've got a little bit of a split there. Or you can decant it into a salt shaker. But all I'm going to be doing is uh, spreading the love. I'm just going to walk around slowly. Walk around the property slowly. And any weeds I spot, little tiny weeds that I've missed, are going to get the salt treatment. When it rains, which you will do over the weekend, that'll wash in. But what the salt does is it dries out the plants. Okay. And shrivels it up. Now, because I've got, look at that cigarette, dirty cigarette book there. Um, because I've got a load of this, I'm just going to be going around all over the plot, all over the paths on the plot, and doing that. Okay, now just by way of comparison, I've done this side with the salt and the path, or we'll have to remember that it's up to there, won't we? In front of the bean cage that we've done and this area and that's took eight of those packs I've just checked they were actually 14 pence each of those packets and we've used eight of them so do the maths on that that's not very much money eight pound twenty it came to all together for all of them that we've got i've not done down there but i will do i'll do it tomorrow but um yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this side of the plot with it and i'm not going to do that side and then we can see a side by side comparison but trust me it does work i've seen other people on these plots mick's been using it quite extensively for the last couple of weeks On his paths. Missed under there though, hasn't he? But on these areas, he's just been walking around, sprinkling. And at the front of the plot. He's been using it at the front of the plot as well. And uh, let's just see. When I came down on Sunday, it was more or less weed free. Yeah. It's killing him off. He's not been scraping them up, but he's been using the salt on them, which is what we're doing here. As I say, it dries them out, and uh, hopefully should do the business. Okay, guys and girls, I've been Guru Mafinder, and as ever, if you're a lady, you've been beautiful, fragrant, and fantastic. If you've been a gentleman, or you are a gentleman, you've been uh, virile masculine and forthright and if you've been something in between you've been something in between haven't you now uh, fingers crossed for the salt every confidence it will work you'll need a couple of applications of that but it's only it, it's salt and it's very very cheap if you buy it by the ton like i've just done and uh, but just do the paths with it don't do anything else those cucumbers are fantastic i'm going to take them back home now and uh and give them to me brother. You'll be seeing him shortly. But yeah, take care of yourselves and each other. Keep growing with your heads down. And remember, we love you all. If you're new to the channel, 
then uh, hello glad to have you with us glad that you're part of the growers revolution and uh, yeah keep it up we'll hopefully entertain you over the next few months i've got plenty more coming up i've been a bit lapse of late because um we've had tons of work on at work real work that you get paid for uh, so i've not been able to get down as much as i usually do i actually have been down for about three or four nights um over the last week but just doing the weeding that's basically all i've been doing weeding and watering and I didn't really want to show you all that, although there's plenty of weeding and what weeding on this uh, on this particular episode, isn't there? But uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. We'll catch you later on, and uh, yeah, keep at it, keep growing, keep keep growing with your heads down. All right, bye bye now. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Ta-da!